It feels like summer. It's very windy. But we have cherries and apples. And apples starting to blossom. And black currants. And blueberries coming out of dormancy. And all of the chaos. parsnips and carrots from last year regrowing, which is probably a mistake. This is almost dead enough for me to pull it out. Almost. It's getting there. It's very squishy. Uh, sweet potato slips. Uh, hostas separated out and planted. I bought two plants and turned them into ten. So, that's good. The pear is blossoming, onions and strawberries, the banana pants mustard green bed, uh, Brussels sprouts and kale and cauliflower that there used to be too many seeds and now there's like not enough, uh, except the Brussels sprouts, they seem fine. I uh, planted out some of my winter and summer squashes. There's some corn back there, black currant, blackberries, and tea berries coming out of dormancy. My weird seed bed. Uh, this is an invasive weed with a tap root. This is yellow dock, so that's fun. I'll just weed that out. That is competing with my beets. It's the only beet that's come up. Does not surprise me. Um, these are radishes that have seen better days. It's okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's like one beet there. A couple beets getting eaten by stuff. Um, carrots coming up over there. I think these were turnips, but they are way too thickly sown, so I should transplant these somewhere else at some point. Uh, yeah, that'll, I'll do that at some point. Uh, salads are doing fine. This garlic is fine. You can see better than I can what's going on down there. I'll check it out with you. That's a weed. That's a weed. And that's a weed. And that's a carrot I just uprooted. Whoops. It's okay. elder spinach a little bit of bird damage spinach no bird damage spinach lots of bird damage uh, onions those are cauliflowers more onions uh, some beets broccoli chives I think these are either kohlrabi or rutabaga I never remember and then corn 
Oi. Planted or transplanted some flowers out. Broccoli, purple spreading broccoli from last year. Asian salad greens. Roughly, I think watermelons. I think that's what I did. Uh, a zinnia. Blueberries coming out of dormancy. Kale from last year. Uh, zinnias. I think I did a cucumber. Oh no, it was cucumbers I did back there. Uh, and then spaghetti squash and tomatoes. And then transplanted out some kohlrabi and beets. There's spinach and strawberries. Salads. Uh, I think that's a celeriac. And some rutabaga. And I put some uh, orca or dalmatian bean seeds in both of these two boxes. Cherokee purple tomatoes uh, with peas. Uh, some radishes. Marigolds. Last year's kale that is dying. Which, that's okay. I'll pull this out soon enough. Just keep hoping that they'll come back. Because the scarlet kale was really tasty. And more spinach. Oregano. Spinach. More ground elder. Spinach. More ground elder. Uh, zinnias. Kohlrabi. Uh, some cilantro. Uh, mortgage lifter tomatoes. Uh, spaghetti squash. I don't remember the other squash. And then mortgage lifter. Some onions. And then more beets and kohlrabi. And my kale from last year. And then this planter has soldaki tomatoes, uh, some borage, and marigolds. So yeah, borage, marigolds, and soldaki tomatoes right here. And then I pulled up my raspberries that have been in this bed and put them in the row. So hopefully they will survive. If not, it's okay. Uh, put my small cherry tomatoes up along the fence line. Uh, this is my salad experiments. Potatoes in the IKEA bag. A forage and a tomato. Roses. Corn and potatoes. Corn and potatoes. Yeah. Oh. Um, radishes on top of strawberries that are starting to blossom. Um, that is a uh, ground cherry. And I think I put some kales in here. And then more carrots, kohlrabi. Another tomato and an onion. My other salad planter. Uh, it's either celery or celeriac. And then I put some flowers in because the beets that were in there died. And my weird strawberry planter. Potatoes, just potatoes. And then I think I topped these with a couple kohlrabi. I feel like that's what I sprinkled in things. Um, yeah. Baby carrots, baby carrots, maybe a kohlrabi. Uh, that's red currant. More tomatoes. Mystery brassicas, not sure what they are. We'll see, probably a radish, uh, some kind of hybrid. This was my radish bed before. Uh, 
broccolis that are transplanted out. We'll see if they get it together. This is fairly dormant, um, other than a couple onions and my lemon balm that's coming out of dormancy. Uh, put some sweet potatoes in this bag that had potato potatoes last year. Purple oxalis and then a uh, wild violet underneath. Celery or celeriac, not entirely sure which. Kale from last year. Uh, this is Chinese cabbage. We'll see. That was a Chinese broccoli, very dead. Uh, that is celeriac and then chives that are getting ready to flower. Uh, this has nothing in it yet. I have starts in the house that I'm going to need to transplant out. So this is just getting prepared. Do you think that's a cauliflower? I don't remember, but it was inside and way too hot. So it is. I will be very surprised if we actually get a cauliflower off that, which is all my fault. It's fine. Um, yeah. I think these are broccoli and some beets. Uh, Jerusalem artichoke, more chives, my grapes, which each one of these is a future bunch of grapes. So there's tons and they're growing every which way. Um, this is my asparagus alarm clock. Uh, this was supposed to be broccoli, but it looks like pop choy. Uh, that's a radish, carrots, and a thousand head kale and chives, um, tomatoes and basil and marigolds and kales and aphids so many aphids i need to spray these i will probably do that soon uh, artichokes transplanted out uh ram's lock, wild garlic and actual garlic oh. yeah i don't remember there's too many things in here it's fine uh, but there's some brassicas hidden in and around things and then mostly peppers and tomatoes and then brassicas on top. So these are, should be colettes. Yeah, colettes. And then purple. It just says purple. That's fun. Um, but yeah, there's tons of aphids. So I need to spray these. But this is me showing you the mistakes. Uh, beets with my beans that died. Um, these broad beans that are fine with some beets. Um, yeah, uh, transplanted out some tiny, tiny eggplants in there. We'll see. That is watermelon, and I gave this a little climby spiral. We'll see. Uh, tomatoes, 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 broccoli back there. This is a midnight star kale that I took my broccoli sprouts and then cut them all off and then transplanted this in here yesterday. These are padrone peppers, so they are starting to get flower buds, and this is a leek. Um, I have no idea what this is. Uh, I thought I had tomatoes in here, and then they died. Uh, so this is either a potato leaf variety of tomato, or this is more ground cherries, and I think these are probably more ground cherries. Uh, red Russian kale, my dead citrus, my replacement tomatoes, in case things went bad. This is my first batch. Mystery pepper, artichoke. That is a bambi, a bambino squash. Those are bambino squash. So we'll see. Uh, this is, what pepper are you? Do you still say? Yellow California Wonder. So yeah, Yellow California Wonder Pepper. That's good. Chaos. It's always chaos over there. It's fine. Uh, ginger and Armenian Yard Long Cucumbers. Or melons, rather. Rosemary, celeriac, some leeks, potatoes, ginger with a cantaloupe and two loofahs. Um... These are my brown cherries that have been out here for over a month. They're super dark green compared to the ones that are inside. Um, this is pepper pots. So these are small potted uh, yellow dream peppers. And these are little finger eggplants. And then these are the mystery peppers and eggplants and some dill and a tot soy. 
because why not? So this is just chaos on top. Uh, beets, a celeriac, and ginger, artichoke, midnight, uh, midnight sky, I think, kale. And then I forgot what you are. Probably a cucumber. That seems correct. We'll see. Uh, yeah, uh, white wonder cucumber down there. Uh, Nona beans. So these came from my friend Annie in Seattle. They were her family's beans. So those I trans I put in here. Um, and then some, I think, Oregon sugar snap peas. And a yellow pear tomato with some beets. And then my kale from last year. This was supposed to be scarlet kale, but I think this actually might be more closely aligned to the midnight uh, sky. And they're really pretty, and it was very tasty. So I was saving this um, seeds from this as my plan. Uh, some radishes, tomato, pepper. That oh, it got schwacked. It might have broke. This pepper may be dead. I need to stake him up. That he doesn't fully die. Okay. So, that pepper has a friend now. Another pepper. A couple leeks. Uh, this is my okra. And it's on its way. Uh, I think the rest of these are supposed to be broccoli, but my broccoli seeds, uh, they're for like a broccoli sprouting mix, and clearly the weird organic broccoli sprouting people uh, do not care about actually giving you broccoli in your broccoli. So, like, because they're just brassicas. So, it's, I am growing a bunch of them, because uh, just kind of an experiment, and pluck some of them out, the ones that were doing bigger, that were bigger, and a bunch of them are turning out to be uh, Asian greens and like pak choy and not broccoli at all, which does not surprise me, uh, and it's kind of interesting, um, but yeah, this kale is doing great, uh, these are colettes, so these colettes are doing awesome, these are the autumn star colettes, and they are very happy in this planter so I'm gonna look forward to eating these this winter and fall Ooh, this is not as stable as I would like it to be that's okay oh yeah and then more tomatoes marigold in the corner um I think my cayenne peppers are all the peppers that are around here so yeah and then that one uh died so I put in uh, a dinosaur kale I plucked one of the dinosaur kales out of there and popped it in there earlier today. So hopefully that'll root and recover and will be nice and lovely and we can eat it. Yeah, so that's what's happening out here in the garden. Uh, you need to take you to the indoor and cake cream house. Well, that's it. That's, that's spring, man. It's finally spring and it feels like summer and my boyfriend got, we got a new lawnmower and he mowed the lawn and took care of most of the landscaping, which is amazing and oh, just, it makes such a difference to have help and I love him. This is the weird stuff that's still in the house. Um, not looking so good because I forgot to water. That is holy basil, yellow pear tomato, which has, hi dogs, I know, uh, an actual tomato growing in the house. This is my bananas. Yeah, it's just the bananas. My basil that is flowering, so that needs to go. And then more brassica starts and starting more melons and cucumbers in there. And then this is pretty cool. Um, my weird tower has cabbages growing in it and a really nice dinosaur kale and beets. And then I planted some more sweet potatoes in those two buckets. We got beets coming up. 
these are my broad beans and then there's tomatoes and I think I put cantaloupes in here too might have been watermelon I don't remember it's fine but yeah this little plastic greenhouse that's just coming apart at the seams um, on the deck is growing really impressive food and doesn't have the same pests that my uh, greenhouse in the front does so yeah uh, looking forward to eating the food in here so yeah uh, thanks for watching hope your garden's doing just as good if not much better i have tons of mistakes